Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your October 23rd through October 29th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these two decks for you, so when I feel the need to stop, I will, and it won't be long. Um, there we go. Now this may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I'm just going to make sure that this is zoomed in. Pretty good. That darn tablecloth driving me nuts. Anyhow, um, the Three of Cups is the basis of your reading. Now this can mean a couple different things. So before I speak, I'm going to look around. Hmm. looks like um, for many of you you could have a choice between two people this is a love reading okay we do have you here we have Aries Leo Sagittarius we have a Capricorn we have Aries Leo and Sagittarius again and we have you Gemini that's what we have right now all right. Um, Sagittarius, yeah, we already have that. So that's what we have. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with a Capricorn so far. That's what we have in this first poll for people. Anyhow, it looks like many of you are probably having a choice between two people. Maybe you don't know who to choose, which way to go. Um, or you guys, it could be a time of celebration, all right, because this is for so many people. Bits and pieces are going to resonate with one and not the other. I feel like um, many of you are feeling uh, like renewed, like uh, your drive and your passion has come back after a period of feeling um, alone, perhaps, or like you were on the wrong path, okay? So I feel like your vibrancy is coming back your passion for life, you know, of, and some, maybe there's a passion for something that you have forgotten. All right. Maybe you had this old hobby or this old, uh, passion that, you know, you let go because you just lost a, you focused your, uh, interest in a different direction, but now you're thinking about bringing it back. Um, It looks like you're probably receiving some communication this week and you really don't know what to do about it. I think that you have to choose. I think you need to choose between two people and I think there's some carnal desires here and one of them you're more attracted to than the other, all right? But one of them is probably a little bit more practical than the other. Um, I see that many of you are just focusing on yourself and getting your life back on track. It just feels like things were out of balance and this week you're, you're really trying to stay on track but you're probably receiving some communication from people that's still um, confusing you you know you're just like oh my gosh what am I gonna do you know um, it feels like things are happening too quickly it's just a little bit chaotic for you a little bit um, I think it's just because you're, you're vibrating so high I see that maybe somebody from your past could be coming into your life or you are thinking about somebody from your past, somebody from your childhood perhaps, um, you know, and you, you may be even stuck in a situation right now and you can't move towards this person because you're stuck in a situation. I see many of you need to free yourself and I'm not sure what this is. It has could have something to do with children. You could be stuck, not able to move because of um, something to do with children, just saying. Um,
it feels like you are like waking up spiritually many of you are having that like an awakening of some sort and and following a spiritual path maybe that's where the that's maybe that's a new hobby you're taking up and it's not really a hobby it's a taking another step on your journey i just think there's a lot of things going on in your life right now this week and i think you're feeling good overall really really good passionate vibrant excited for the future i think it's a week of growth i think things are starting to happen for you and i think that you're just feeling very, very good, happy, at ease. Um, you probably have a few choices on the table, and the decision is completely yours. All right. Um, I see that there's some desires. Many of you could be dealing with some addictions this week. I see that there could be some overindulgences, like alcohol. Their drugs could even play a part. Now, this may or may not resonate with everybody because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. But I do see that there could be definitely be some addictions and some obsessions, okay, that are taking place, you know. And it's up to you whether you want to change that or not, okay. It's in your hands. Whenever you're ready to change it, you can. But you don't, you know, it's completely up to you. Um, I'm going to start shuffling the cards. I see, see that many of you are probably very grateful this week. Grateful for all that you have and grateful that, you know, I think you're feeling loved. And I think that you're probably feeling very vibrant and passionate and grateful this week. Um, but I think things might be happening fast and you might be feeling like it's just a little chaotic, all right? Just a little bit chaotic for you. And I think that there's some communication coming in. And you have probably from a couple people. And that's why you have, you're just like... You're feeling good. It makes you feel on top of the world. Like, you know, you're feeling very good because you're getting all this attention. It feels like you're getting a lot of attention this week. But it may be coming in a little bit too quick. And you're just like, wow, what am I going to do? Either way, you have to do the right thing for you. That's why this card came out. Do the right thing. Take your time making a decision because you want to make sure that you make, you make the right decision, okay? So if it takes a little bit of time, take the time it needs to make it, all right? You have the resources within you to make the right decision. Take your time, okay? Um, make Try to make the decision that will bring the most balance to your life, okay? Um, I think whatever this decision it is, it could have something to do with children, okay? Children are a factor in your decision. Um, this could have to do with your home, okay? This decision that you need to make. Maybe you're thinking about leaving or you're thinking about your children. I do see you're thinking about your children. Many of you have uh, are thinking about your children or about having children, something to do with children this week. But anyway, I see a change in your home. For many of you, somebody could be moving out, somebody could be moving in, um, or you could be upgrading, but there's definitely a change in your home. Um, I see that there's some kind of unseen force, okay? Uh, there is, there is. There is something going on behind the scenes for you. Caution, you need to be cautious. There's something going on with that moon and devil right next to that unknown card. There is something fishy going on, and I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. i got to get some more cards on this. Um, something is a mystery with this unknown card, the moon and the devil. It's like something is being is testing. There's a test. There's a test here. Yes, there is. Yeah. There's a test. And the thing is, is, is it has to do with love, okay? It does. Okay, it has to do with love. But it has to do with your it has to do with children too. In some way, for many of you, it has to do with children. Okay, and it has to do with some kind of decision, and uh, you know, taking your time to make the decision. Okay, because it will affect your future. It will affect your home in the future. 
So, um, and when I say you may need to choose between two people, it could be children and a partner, or it could be between two partners, you know, it could be between a mother and a father, you know what I mean, or a mother and their children, or whatever, you, however that resonates with you, between two people, you're probably going to have to make a choice between two people, and I think that there's going to be hurt no matter what, somebody is going to feel like they are stabbed in the back, either way. Because you can't, you can't choose both paths, okay? Somebody's going to be hurt out of the deal. Um, but you must do the right thing for you. Dig deep to, to get the answer that you seek, okay? And take the time before you make the decision. So I think this week is, is, between, is uh, about choosing between two forces, okay? Yeah, yep. There's something going on here. And the decision, the outcome depends on your decision. That's what this card says, the unknown card. The outcome depends on your decision. So make sure you make the wisest one. So this is, this is you know, about you thinking twice before you make a decision this week. If something big comes into play and you're presenting with, presented with a big decision, don't be impulsive. Take the time you need to make it. Okay, because I see that there's a lot of passion here and there's a lot of excitement and impulsiveness comes with that. That's what the devil bring, brings in. The devil brings in, um, you, the devil doesn't bring in good things. Okay, he doesn't. The devil brings in things to entice you in the wrong direction. So yeah, it's fun for a little while, but the outcome usually isn't good with the devil and the moon. So there's some kind of, you better think twice because you could have some regrets. That's what I see. You could have some regrets. You could be receiving communication from somebody this week that, you know, you're very attracted to and there's some carnal desires and maybe there was a previous obsession with this person or whatever the case may be. But it feels like it's still an illusion and it's very short term and it's instant gratification that you could have regrets with so just be very careful I see that there'll be excitement and there'll be attraction so you know try to make the best decision think twice all right um, <clears throat> interesting could happen all of a sudden all right out of the blue very fast moving energy Now I'm going to get you one of these. This is, this is for Gemini. Ooh. Like I said, you're going to feel a lot of excitement. Shower of Abundance. To heal your financial situation... First, give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. So for many of you that are watching this, this message had to come out. This is what I have, Gemini. I think the, uh, the future's in your hands. That's what this card says. The future's in your hands. Be careful with the decisions that you make. It could affect your financial future with this and this. Seriously, because this is more of a finance card, and this one is too. Absolutely. It could affect your home. Interesting. So, that's the message I have. Talk to you later, October 23rd through the 29th for Gemini.